Hey guys, a person, any person born on this planet is considered Muslim, i.e. follower of Islam, automatically. A person born and bred in a different region, the infidel, can choose, can research, can investigate and weigh the options and decide whether or not they want to submit to the ideology of Islam. A Muslim can't. An infidel living in a Muslim-majority country, if he pays money to Muslims, is even protected by them. The Muslim who leaves, becomes an infidel later in life, is not. In fact, they need to be killed. So, right off the bat, we see it's better to be born an infidel. The non-believer who lives life, who eats and drinks what they want and when they want and wears what they want and how they want and has sex with who they want and when and how they want, waits until he or she is 70, is welcome to Islam as a Muslim. A Muslim has spent years of their lives on their knees, has not danced or partied, and yet she or he gets the same treatment as the former infidel. But it goes even further. An infidel has challenges, ambitions, achievements. A Muslim has a purpose, like a toaster has a purpose. Except the Muslim still needs to run through all sorts of rituals, hand-waving, kneeling, doing all sorts of movements and mumbling stuff in a dead language to fulfill this purpose. A Muslim who does not do this, does not pray fast or go on this expensive pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia, can end up in hell just like the infidel. The Muslim needs to be a virgin until marriage, and while the Muslim runs around the black stone in Mecca, the infidel enjoys their sex on the beach. Life is not fair for a Muslim.